Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you that starting today, October 30th, you are able to use Samsung internet on your Windows or PC device. Now what's nice about this is that everything is all synced across. I can look right here and take a look at my synced Galaxy S25 Ultra. I have all of my shortcuts right here. On this side, this is all of my last tabs that I have used. I'd also be able to take a look at my calendar, which is again, synced with my device. And then over here, I can add in more shortcuts or more sites. Now, if you would like to have Google be a part of it, now you can see that Google is sitting right there. And it's one of those screens that is on the right hand side. Now, if I open this one up over here one more time, I can then bring in Amazon. And if I wanted to, I can shop with Amazon over here. And then on this side, I'd be able to take a look at really anything else that I want. Now, let me show you this. It just launched today. It is October 30th. Now, I was able to get this right now on October 29th, but in Korea, it launched on October 30th. So by the time you're watching this video, you are now able to get Samsung internet on your PC or your Windows device. Now, right here, Samsung Electronics Today announced that the beta release of Samsung Internet for PC is expanding its popular mobile browser. So if you're somebody who loves using Samsung Internet on your phone or tablet, you can now do this on your PC as well. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video or if you have learned something new, please consider hitting that like button, hitting the subscribe and leaving a comment below. Sharing this video does really help it reach more people and supports the channel. Let's try to get up to 1 million subscribers and thanks for watching. So I will place this link below the video inside the description. It's just to Samsung Newsroom. So this way you can read more information about Samsung internet expanding to PC. Now you can see the seamless experience across all of mobile and PC, which it states right here. So you'll have a bunch of all of the, the features that comes with Samsung internet, like the browsing assist. So this way you can get instant web page summar summarization and translation, helping you find more information faster. You also have your secure browsing on Galaxy devices. So all the features that come with Samsung internet, like that smart anti-tracking, you have that. So you have sync, you also have your Samsung pass, and then also your Samsung continuity just be, uh, between everything. So here's the availability. So Samsung internet for PC beta will be available to users on Windows 11 and Windows 10, which is version 1809 and above, starting on October 30th, which is right now as of the time of you watching this video. And it's available in the United States and Korea with plans for broader expansion to follow. Now, if you would like to sign up for this, then you click on this link right there. Now, all that's gonna do is gonna take you into this screen here, which I have already done. So all of these steps is actually right here. So you go from Samsung Newsroom, then it'll head over into Samsung Internet. You're gonna get more details right here. And then this is how you can join the beta program. Now, again, it's for users in South Korea, as well as the United States. So you have your Samsung Sync, the Samsung Pass, all of the continuity between everything. So this is where you click on join the beta. Now, once you hit on this join beta program, it'll take you over into developer.samsung.com. So this way you can become a Samsung developer. Uh, but again, it's just very simple, easy. There's nothing you have to do. Once you log in, uh, you can see here that I requested it at 634 and I was approved at 634 on the 29th. Now, if you want to withdraw from this, you can. I mean, there's really no need to withdraw from this program because again, on your computer, there's all of these things that you can use. So I'm just using Chrome right now, as you can see. So there's really no need to withdraw from it. So this is where you go to go to service. And then this is where you log in with your Samsung account. And then once you log in with your Samsung account, then it's going to allow you to have this program right here. So this is just the shortcut right here for Samsung internet beta. Now, that is everything I wanted to share in terms of signing up, where you can sign up, where you can get more information. So now that you have your Samsung internet beta right here, this is where uh, when I set it up, I had the option to import little tabs or shortcuts or some of my favorites, and I did that. So these are all of the shortcuts that I have used with Chrome, which is really nice that you can import those into Samsung internet. Now, when you take a look at the very top, this is where you have split view. 
So you can run two different windows at the exact same time. So this is where you just tap on this button if you want to go into split screen or not. Also, what you have is this is your menu. And this is what gives you over into all of those things that you normally see on Samsung internet on your phone. You have ad blocker, so you can turn it on and you can also turn it off. This is where you have your settings. Now, if you look at this, you can see that this is very similar to what you would see on your Samsung phone or your tablet. So everything is synced with my Samsung cloud. I also have my synced devices, which is my Galaxy S25 Ultra and the, the Z Fold 7. Items to sync, I do have this thing turned on. You can take a look at bookmarks, your tabs, your history, Samsung Pass, your settings. Everything is all you know syncing from what you have with your phone. Then you also have your browsing assist. So you can turn this on. So this way you're able to summarize with AI in simple summaries of a web page. Uh, you can also translate web pages as well. So I do have summarize turned on. Then you can go through your settings for startup, your address bar search, search your appearance, the sidebar and side panel. So you can have this on or off, which is this stuff that you see right over here on the right hand side your privacy dashboard, sites, downloads, default browser. So I can change my default browser on my computer over into Samsung internet if I would like to. Uh, performance, uh, languages, accessibility, and then you can also reset it. And then there is some add-ons if you'd like to add on some more stuff. Now, let's say that we just take a look at my main page. So here is YouTube, right? So I can take a look at a whole bunch of stuff. All I gotta do here is just sign in. Now, when you take a look at the top and along the side over here, so this right here, this is gonna be those that sandwich menu. And all I did was I just went to msn.com. So this right here will give you all of your settings and features and dark modes and zooms and all that. Then here's your Galaxy AI. And so when you open this up, then that's what gives you your summary, also the translate, and that's really pretty much about it. And then right over here, again, this is where you have your phone. So if you wanna open this up, you can open it and you can shut it. You can also bring in other uh, little shortcuts or applications. So here's my X. Uh, let's see here, I got Walmart that's in there, the New York Times, Fandom, Chat GPT. So there's a bunch of stuff that's sitting here if you would like to add them over here on the right-hand side. And then on the top left-hand side, this is where you have manage your account. And then you also have this one here, which is tabs. So if you want to bring your tabs down, you know, again, you can also bring in a brand new tab. Again, this is the main one, but this right here will show you all of the tabs. You can switch between all of them just by, uh, you know, tapping on this icon on the top left hand side, switching between all of these ones here. Now, as you are going through this little tab option right here, this just kind of shows everything. Uh, you are able to just simply go between the two of them that are just sitting right there. So let's say that we go over here and then I tap on like YouTube or whatever, and then I got this right there. Let's say that I go and I tap on another one. Here's my Opus Pro. So it's just really nice having everything just kind of come right on in from what you already have been using on your Samsung phone. Now, there's a little bit more playing with this that I want to go with as well. So this is your main new tab. Now, up over here on the top right hand side, when I first signed in on this one, I tapped on these little settings. Now, this is where I was able to get my new tab page from other devices. And then I also made sure that I had my weather turned on and the clock. Now, when it comes down to the weather, you tap these three little dots, and this is where you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And if you want it to be local weather or just whatever you want to choose. So I selected these ones for local weather, also went to Fahrenheit, and this is where you have your wallpaper. So you can have it as regular wallpaper that is there, or you can also customize your home page settings. So that's everything I wanted to share in today's video. So starting right now, you can get Samsung Internet Beta for your PC. And this is what it looks like. You have all of your tabs right up over here. You have a few settings on the top left-hand side. The top right-hand side, you have a few more uh, features and then you also have your Galaxy AI and then you also have your phones or your phone that is all linked up. Now, if you ever want to get this again, I can place this link below the video inside the description. This is going to give you all the details about this and everything that it comes with and then also the availability. So this is where you click on that browser.samsung.com slash beta. So then this way you'd be able to sign up for it. And once you learn just a little bit more about it and you click on this join beta program, it just asks you to create an account on developer.samsung.com. So you're not really doing any development. You're just logging in and creating an account, mostly just regularly, you know, with your Samsung account. And then that's where you're able to just get it, download it, sign in. And then now here you go. You got Samsung internet beta on your PC. 
So a lot of people are gonna love that you finally have seamless usage between your PCs and your smartphone because when you now have Samsung internet on your PC, it's the same as if you were using, let's say your Chrome that was either on your computer and it's also synced up and linked up with your phone. So now you can do that with Samsung internet. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.